Two years ago when I was 18, I wish I had done more delayed gratification. I knew about the concept and I knew that I should be doing things for my future self. And I even preached it at times. I even made sure that sometimes I did the thing for my future self. I did that a lot with the gym. I did that a lot with cold showers, dating. But I never really stuck to my most important problems, which pertain to meditation, reading, and just working on my mental health, as well as my finances. I'm sure you're in a similar boat where you wish you had done things differently. Let me tell you now, you can do things differently today to set your future self up, to set the next incarnation of you up that is your future self. Imagine five years from now, even like two years from now, you have 10 times the amount of money that you had. You have the girl of your dreams. Imagine that you have friends and family that just respect and admire you from what you've accomplished. Imagine you could focus on anything and everything that you want to without getting distracted. Imagine you go do things that you want to do. Now, this only comes with delayed gratification. Delayed gratification is the act of setting aside your current happiness for future greatness, for future satisfaction, for future achievements. An example of delayed gratification would be instead of being on your phone on TikTok first thing in the morning, you just go to the gym, you read a book, you meditate, you take a cold shower. Instead of spending that time scrolling on the instant gratification, which is things that you do in the moment for the pleasure right now, but over time, they have negative effects or no effects. No to negative, very little effects to negative effects. But you know what they say, if you're not progressing, you're getting worse. And I truly believe that. In the book, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, he talks a lot about this concept of delayed gratification and how your actions over time can build your future. He has three guys. He has these three examples. Let's just name them Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3. Mark 1, he is the guy that has slightly worse decisions over a five-year time period. Mark 2, let's just say he does the same things. He doesn't really change his routine. He just always stays the same. Mark 3, He's the guy that tries to improve himself little by little every single day. Now, Mark 1, he likes to like cook himself desserts and eat dessert every night and have a few drinks. And instead of going to the gym, he'll just watch a couple episodes of TV and hang out with the kids and be, be a good guy. But honestly, he has some habits that need some work. He doesn't really try at work and he calls out more days than not. Now, Mark 2, he does the same stuff. He goes into work on time every day he doesn't really change anything up his eating habits are relatively the same and he goes to the gym every once in a while but not really that often in mark three he's the one that decides to listen to an audiobook on his ride to work every day he's the one that decides to start a side hustle even when he doesn't feel like it he feels like he has the right to relax after work he's the guy that goes to the gym first thing in the morning even though it's early as fuck, and that's just the last thing he wants to do. He takes the cold shower. He follows a diet plan. He listens to self-improvement books and business books and finance books and all of this, but who do you think is better off? Where do you think Mark 1 is? Mark 1 probably gained about 20 pounds. He's looking a bit chubby. He's kind of depressed. The routine is really getting to him. His mental health is poor. He's on the verge of, lo of losing his job. Mark two, he's around the same, he's in the same place. But since he's been doing the same thing for a little bit, he's gotten a little worse. He's gotten older, he's gained a couple pounds and finances aren't that great, but what are you gonna do? That's just the world we live in. Mark three, he decides to take life into his own hands. He decides to delay gratification for a little bit, do the sucky shit for about five years. Mark was able to either get a promotion in his job or leave 
the business and start his own business and make six figures or more. He has the dream body. He is beyond energetic. He can't even explain how good he feels throughout the day. These are the these are the three men. These these are the three examples that really stick in my mind. I read this book years ago. And this example stays in my head because it's true. Your future self depends on the decisions you make today and whether you delay the gratification. I think of tomorrow as my future self. It's not me now, it's my future self. And if I do things for him, that's the best self-improvement there is. Be your own best friend, be your own support. There's this baseline, right? There is this, there's a dopamine side and then there's a happiness side. Dopamine being the Y axis, happiness being the X axis. And as we go along the line and we do the, the instant gratification activities, the happiness spike goes up, the dopamine spike goes up, and then it crashes down slightly below the baseline. And now you feel kind of crappy. Why not just do the instant gratification thing again? Then your happiness goes up, but slightly below the point it was the first time, but you still feel good. And then it goes crashing down even further below the baseline. Now imagine that process repeated hundreds of times. Now the activity that used to feel really good, it, it doesn't feel good anymore. Now your baseline happiness of just existing is lower. Now for delayed gratification, it's really different. Your happiness will be below the baseline. Your dopamine will be below the baseline when you perform a delayed gratification activity such as reading, or working out, or meditating, or taking a cold shower, you will feel rather unpleasant. But once you complete it, it goes up. The dopamine and the happiness goes up because you've completed that because you've completed what you wanted to do. You completed a future investment. Now your future self is reaping the benefits. Now, let's say you do it again, the delayed gratification activity the next day, your happiness and dopamine spikes a little bit down, not as much as the first day, but it still spikes down. And then it goes up even further than the first day. Now you feel even better than the first time. Now imagine this repeated over hundreds of days. Not only are you developing yourself in whatever you are doing, you are effectively making yourself happier because you are choosing your future self. You're not frying your brain with these apps. Here's an action step. I just hope you could take this. It's pick up a book, read five pages. How do you feel after that? Pretty good, right? You've, you've learned some things, feel a little bit productive. And honestly, you're probably going to remember that more than the 50 TikToks you watched this morning. Now, go do 100 push-ups. Yes, it's going to be hard but you'll feel a slight pump. You'll feel a little bit bigger and you might even feel a little bit sore tomorrow. And that means you're growing. You've done a little bit of exercise today. It's small things like that. It's not that hard to start, but it is hard to start once you've gone off the deep end. Once you let the dopamine and the instant gratification consume you. That being said, I hope you all have a great day. Mwah.